Hi everyone. In this presentation, I'm going to introduce you to the Echidna equation. Yes, the Echidna equation. Now, the Echidna equation is just a little bit of fun that I've been having with technology and in particular GeoGebra. So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you the, the equation and the curve. But before we get to that, if you don't live in or near Australia, you might not have even heard of an echidna. So let me first share my screen with you and uh, show you what an echidna is. So this talk is the echidna equation. Here is a picture of an echidna. Now echidnas are egg-laying mammals that live in Australia and New Zealand. They eat ants and termites and as you can see from the picture, they have coarse hair and spines, a bit like a, a spiny anteater. Now, echidnas occasionally appear in popular culture. For example, an echidna appears on the Australian five cent coin. You may remember Knuckles the echidna, featuring in the game Sonic the Hedgehog. And something that people don't really know too much about echidnas is that they love mathematics. Yes, it's true, they love mathematics. What do I mean by that? Well, let me show you. Let me see if I can share my screen with you and I'm gonna show you the echidna equation and the curve. Now here I'm just using GeoGebra. GeoGebra is fantastic. It's just a free package that you can download even as um, an app on Google Chrome. And you can, you can play around with it. You can plot curves. Uh, it's got a, um, a CAS capability as well. So here is the Echidna equation. Okay, you can see up the, up the top left hand corner, I've got uh, this f of x defined through sine and cosine. And then I've used the parametric curve um, property, uh, tweaked that a little bit to plot the following curve. So I've got the echidna on the left. Let me just see if I can use this slider to actually plot the curve associated with those equations. Okay, so here is our echidna curve from our echidna equation. What do you think? Do you like it? Pretty cool, huh? Lots of spikes, a little beak for getting in and getting those ants. I just think it's cool. So once again, if I make the slider go, some people have also said that the curve looks a bit like a slinky that's kind of going down to a point, a single point at the origin. But I like to call it the echidna curve or the echidna equation. So what do you think? What do you think of the echidna equation or the echidna curve? I think it's pretty cool. Um, it's just something that I've been playing around with and the uh, motivation for coming out with this curve actually uh, comes through um, polar plots and parametric plots. Um, I came across a web page where they'd um, defined in the Kidna equation, the big difference was that theirs went all the way around. And uh, let me show you what I mean by that. So if I take the absolute values off here, the, the curve would actually go all the way around. And I'm thinking, no, that doesn't look like an echidna to me. So putting those absolute value signs gets it above the horizontal axis. And I think um, a bit truer to the, the echidna. So what do you think? Just a bit of fun. Let me know um, your thoughts. If you have any comments, put them in the comment section. And uh, what other crazy, obscure Australian animals have you heard of? All right, thanks for watching. Crikey. See you later.